The invasion of Ukraine into the territory of Russia may lead to a faster end to the military conflict. Andreas Umland, an analyst at the Swedish Institute of International Relations, wrote about it for foreign policy. According to him, the last four days drastically changed the Russian-Ukrainian war. The operation of the Ukrainian forces in the Kursk region quickly turned into the largest territorial advance since the successful counteroffensive in Kharkiv and Kherson in the fall of 2022. It is not yet clear whether the Russians were able to stop the advance of the BSU. After all, more and more footage of captured Russians and destroyed convoys of Russian vehicles are appearing online. In some places, the situation is very similar to the first chaotic days of the Great War. The operation demonstrates the ability of Ukraine to achieve surprise and use sudden breakthroughs, in which Russia has always failed since the beginning of the conflict, the analyst noted. In addition, this is the first case of the invasion of foreign troops into the PF since the Second World War. Consequently, Ukraine demonstrates to Russians that the war is returning to their territory. It seems that the West has approved the operation. The White House and the EU said that the decision to carry out the operation should be made by Ukraine itself. Earlier, the Allies declared that an attack on the Russian Federation could become a red line, the beginning of the Third World War and nuclear Armageddon. But the Ukrainians did it. Umland noted that the effect and purpose of the Kursk operation may be to erase arguments about the red line. In addition, Umlan said that the lightning breakthrough of Ukraine undermines the widespread idea that Putin holds all the cards in his hands and can dictate the terms of the ceasefire. Kiev makes it clear that obtaining levers of influence on the negotiations is one of the goals of the offensive. It is noted that the probable purpose of the operation is consistent with the recent statements of President Zelensky that Kiev is ready for negotiations. It seems that Kiev is preparing the basis for potential negotiations, striving to strengthen its position and publicly declaring its readiness. Bloomberg has called the Ukrainian breakthrough of the Russian border in Kursk Oblast the first case since World War II when the army of another country invaded Russia. According to Bloomberg, up to a thousand Ukrainian troops have entered Kursk Oblast. This is the first time since World War II that the troops of another country have entered Russia. Bloomberg also reports that Putin summoned his subordinates to explain the situation recently. And Russian mill bloggers accused the officials of incompetence. The news agency also suggests that this situation is likely to reinforce Kiev's argument that American and European allies should not be afraid of the Kremlin's threats of escalation but instead should allow Ukraine to fight in any way it can to speed up the end of the war. Bloomberg believes that this episode has exposed the fragility of Russia's border defenses, undermined the Kremlin's image of Putin as a protector of ordinary Russians and boosted Ukrainian morale. Despite Kiev not officially confirming its activities in the Kursk region, the fighting there indicates three main objectives of Ukraine, according to the Telegraph. It is noted that in less than two days of fighting in the Kursk region, Russia has lost control of 350 square kilometers of its territory. Additionally, dozens of Russians are reportedly captured by Ukrainian forces. Although Ukraine has not officially confirmed its control over the situation in the Kursk region, the fighting there indicates three key objectives of Ukraine. The first is to divert Russian forces from offensive operations in Donetsk. Over the past week, Russia made significant advances in this direction and approached the village of New York. Since Russia has not achieved success in the Kharkiv direction, the Russian troops could redirect even more conscripts to Donetsk in the coming weeks. The Kursk offensive operation complicates this process. The second is to sow discord within Russia. Since the beginning of 2023, Russia has resumed minor offensive actions in Ukraine, which is why so-called pro-Ukrainian Russian partisans have periodically conducted incursions into Russian territory and briefly occupied several border settlements in Belgorod. In March 2024, these operations expanded to Kursk. These actions aimed to undermine the increasingly fragile sense of security in Russia and show the Russian public that the war could come to them as well.
The third objective is to advance the negotiations on territorial exchanges during future talks. Leaks indicate that Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky reportedly considered occupying Russian villages as a means to pressure Moscow. Specifically, discussions are underway about exchanging land plots between Kharkiv and Kursk. Although it is unclear whether Ukraine will be able to hold the villages in the Kursk region, the offensive has shown that breaching Russian territory is easier than destroying Russian fortifications in eastern Ukraine. The assault on Kursk demonstrates that Russia has not learned lessons from the rapid capture of Rostov by Wagner forces during the June 2023 mutiny. Besides the anticipated threats to destroy Ukraine and the use of tactical nuclear weapons, Russia has not provided any significant response to the Kursk offensive.